This is Auto House Z, and today we're doing a clutch on this 5 speed V6 Toyota Camry 1999. So, there's a few videos on YouTube already about doing the clutch in this car, but on a four cylinder. It looks like the six is not that much different than a four. But here are some tips and tricks for you guys attempting this job. So the factory service manual actually wants you to drop the entire subframe to pull the trans out, but you actually do not need to remove the transmission to access the clutch and flywheel. So here's what I did. So the trans is unbolted and I just shifted it as far to the driver's side as I could. So to do that, this one mounting tab for the plastic cover that goes right here. I actually bent this guy up so that I could slide the transmission as far to the driver's side as I could. And again, I'm sorry the lighting sucks, but you can see there's plenty of room to get to the clutch fork throughout bearing and then also clutch flywheel. We're gonna do the rear main seal in this car too, so. So yeah, if you're doing a clutch in your 90s to early 2000s manual trans Camry, you do not need to drop the entire subframe. You can just push the trans all the way to the side. And then not really any special tools. I can see you doing this at home too. You just need some jack stands to hold the engine up and then a floor jack right there. So you can get the trans this way. And then I was anticipating having to hang the engine like other front wheel drive cars, but no need for an engine hanger on top also. That's it for this video on tips and tricks doing the clutch on your manual trans 90s to early 2000s Camry. If you want to see any more videos like this, leave a comment in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out our other social media channels. Thanks again for watching, you guys.